Hi, it's Evelyn. Thanks so much for tuning in to my channel. I do appreciate it. If this is your first time tuning in, please subscribe. And now on with the video. It is so important to take care of your scalp to keep baldness away. I have five things, I have five things that I do to keep baldness away. So the five must do to keep baldness away, the first one is, is scalp examination. Look at your scalp up closely, um, monitor your scalp, make sure there's no irritation, any redness, any bumps, soreness, or new bald spots. So you definitely want to examine your scalp. I, you can examine your scalp once a week, bi-weekly, or monthly. For me, I do a scalp examination on wash day. That's the time I take to look close up at my scalp to make sure that there are no bumps, no redness, no tenderness, and no new bald spots. So you definitely want to examine your scalp. The second thing is listen to your scalp, meaning if you have excessive itchiness. See, when I first lost my hair, I noticed that I had this strong, irritating itch underneath the skin of my scalp skin. My scalp itched, it burned, it was red, I had bumps, and then followed by that was hair loss. So you definitely want to listen to your scalp to see if you have excessive itching. Like you know, if you scratch and then a few seconds later it's itching just that intense and it becomes red. So you definitely want to listen to your scalp. Maybe it's time for a sugar scrub or a clay mask or some type of clarifying shampoo to get into your scalp and your hair and to eliminate buildup or dandruff or whatever is on your scalp. So definitely listen to your scalp. The third thing is do not sleep in tight updos. I love to style my hair and set my hair for work week so that when I get up in the morning I don't have to worry about my hair. That's why I love to wear wash and goes. But there are times in the past that I wore buns and with bobby pins in my buns and maybe some marley hair on top and I would go to bed with the marley bun with bobby pins um, in my hair tightly on my scalp and I wouldn't take it down um, until wash day because the convenience of it you know having your hair style for work week but I no longer do that and my suggestion is to you if you wear buns take them down at night massage your scalp and just do not sleep in tight hair hairstyles and remove bobby pins from your head fourth thing you must do and this is for my men and women we love to use a hairbrush to brush around our edges to make sure our edges are laid i do not I brush my hair, I brush my hair when I style it around the edge. It's very gentle though. And for our men that wants to get those waves going around on their head, um, you want to be careful with that constant, persistent brushing. It's like a time clock goes off. Bing, it's time to brush. I see men do it all the time, even my adult boys, uh, my adult men. Um, uh, brushing their hair all the time with that wave brush to try to get the waves you know get those waves in, in their hair but constantly brushing uh, your hair can definitely pull the hair out of the follicles so you want to be careful with that wave brush and ladies you want to be careful with the brush brushing around your edges maybe use a soft toothbrush or just water in your fingers. The last one is also for our men and our women. When we tie our hair up at night, 
you know you don't want to tie it so tight that it's constricting your blood flow around your edges around the back to the point that you're you're having you're experiencing a headache you're cutting off blood flow to your follicles and you soon will develop hair loss around your edges so ladies when you tie your scarf tie it lightly around your head and sleep on a pillow satin pillowcase just in case your scarf falls off your head so I do not tie my hair down tight anymore to um, avoid tenderness around the edges and possibly hair loss for our men those do rags along with that wave brush I know you want those waves but when you tie that do rag around your head just leave it on for maybe 30 minutes to an hour don't walk around with it all day on your head and you sleep in it and you just I see this all the time men have that do rag on their head from hour to hour and you will definitely experience some form of hair loss if it's even around like the temple you get that V line you're losing your hair and um, so you just want to be careful with tying your scarf or your do rag on your head too tight cutting off blood circulation to your follicles so this completes my five must do to keep baldness away and um, I want to say also that on April 1st my products will my products will be available this is my stinging nettle scalp tonic and this is my stinging nettle hair mask and I also will have my hair growth oil I'm waiting on labels for that um, or I would have shown it in this video but my products will be available on April 1st if you would like to add your list add your name to my notification list when my products are on my Etsy shop I will email you that you can go ahead and make a purchase if that's what you want to do so if you want your name added to the list please send me your name and your email and I will add you to my notification pre-order list so this completes my video I hope it was helpful informative and if this is your first time please leave me a comment subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in another video bye bye